Morning, it's Uncle Laurie here with a, another shave. This is a bit of an anniversary shave because I've got a. Um, just get it out. I've got a Wismet braid in my Rockwall 6C and it's on shave 20. So that's shave 20 on this blade. And it's been smooth up till now. This will be the last shave I'll do with that blade. For me that's 20 is enough. I'm not um, trying to break any records. It was just a, a, a test run to see how far it would go. It's gone <laughs> 20 shaves and obviously it can go further. Generally I wouldn't use more than 10 shaves. So I'm just putting on um, my shrinking cube, the ch uh, charcoal, activated charcoal cube from PAA. Do. I normally use a, a pre shave of some sort, mostly a, a soap. I do use the Bad Bones oil sometimes, just like this one here. It's quite good. Getting the beard ready. The soap I'm using today is the Oaken Lab Batavia Barber. I've been using this in the uh, shaves during the week that I don't normally um, post, but post uh, videos of that is. As you can see, I'm, I'm getting down, slowly getting down, it's shrinking. I'm trying to use that one up. Then I'll grab another tub and do the same thing. That should be right. I'm ready to go. Now I've already whipped up the leather in my scuttle, in my Aussie scuttle. heavy because it's got some <laughs> it's full of water to keep the leather warm lovely I'm using the yeah, air the ball or not let me get a ball, large knot, uh, I think it's about 60 mil loft on the knot, 28 mil diameter, I expect. Lovely. Feels creamy. I just had over there to do the photos. I got this on plate three, and it's still as smooth as silk. This blade. We could use this blade forever. Okay. 
few wonderful blows. I can't believe that after 20 shaves, I can do that. But there you go. Proof is in the pudding, as they say. Normally I don't get more about the four or five shades out of other blades. But this Wismet blade, for some reason, on my skin, my beard, it just keeps going. This Omega Ball brush, I've had this brush for quite a while, uh, three, four years I think. So it's well worn in. And the tips are broken, or split as they say. So it's lovely and soft. These brushes are pretty cheap, $20 or so, Australian dollars I'm talking about. So, if you don't mind breaking them in, they'll do you a lovely service for many years. You don't have to spend a lot of money on brushes to get set up. Don't get me wrong, I love a good custom brush. But not everybody wants to spend big money on uh, their shaving. I've spent it quite a bit over the years because for, for me it's a hobby and a collection. I have 10 or so brushes, most of them are custom. With, um, Australian made handles. You'll see me post, uh, well, yeah, you'll see them on videos as I progress. I'll, I'll go through the brushes that I have. Lovely. Very nice, clean shape. Made a smooth as silk still. Like I said, this is a straight Amiga ball brush. I do have another ball from Yucky a high density wall brush. Um, I think I used it earlier on in the video. If not it will come up again. Very nice. The scent in this uh, soap is classic barbershop. Stone scent.
Might just be quiet here as I go over the around the mouth. Don't get too many nicks. Jabbering away while I'm shaving around the mouth. Got the Rockwell on plate number three. I don't know whether I've mentioned that already. Which I've had it on for the whole 20 shaves. Lovely mild shave there. Quite close. I don't aim for BBS. You can see I'm on the I'm just shaving on the residual. No problems at all. Stragglers. Very nice. Come on. Yeah. There we go in the neck. Pretty good actually. That was very nice. That was a lovely shave. I'd keep going with this blade, but uh, I want to use some other blades. So uh, we'll call it a day on that, at 20 shaves. We'll just say that blade can do 20 plus shaves, no problem. Just a touch around the neck here. I don't see any nicks there. No weepers, no nicks. Very nice shade. Alright, we'll call that a shade. I'll just do a bit of alum to see if there's any. Um, Not a tingle even. Just a couple around the mouth, but not. No major damage that I can feel. Lovely. What a lovely shave. Well, I'll call it a shave and I'll, I'll be back and do my post. I'll see you shortly. Hi, I'm back from my shave. Uh, shave. Yes, I have had a shave. I also went and had a shower. And it's a lovely, clean, smooth face I got left. I'm all refreshed. That blade, I'll just show you the blade. It's showing a little bit of signs of wear now. As you can see, it's got some stains on it but after 20 shaves that's what it looks like still pretty good probably could do another 20 so i used that in the rockwell 6c the what do you call it uh, metal 
Come little, come little, colour. And the brush, it says shaving factory on the brush, but it's actually, if I look underneath, a mega wall brush. Nice big knot there, 28, 29 mil, um, with about a 60 mil loft. Well, you can see the tips are, I don't know where you can, but the tips are being split. And it's a lovely brush now. After three, four years old, now I've had that brush. So, we'll just, um, I'll put a bit of witch hazel on, do a bit of my post shave. How's everybody going? Uh, thank you uh, for anybody who's still watching. Taking the time to go this far in my shave. Bit of witch hazel and a bit of lime sec from Clubman. <sighs> Definitely smells like a freshly squeezed lime. Very nice. Then I've got some Lucky Tiger finishing cream, which I'll put on as well. There's a bar. Just rub it around. Oh, that's a very nice shave. There's no irritation whatsoever. Put a bit of Nivea on that after, after a while and we'll see how it goes. Normally the vanishing cream is enough, especially after a good shave like that. Clean shave. Alright, thank you very much for watching. We'll hope you see you on Sunday. Thank you.